four faces sports. You know what I'm going to talk about. That Ryan and that Devin Haney fight. Man, Ryan won. It was simple as that. He knocked Haney out like what, three times. If they had the three count, three knockdown rule, man, Haney would Haney would have lost. Simple. I mean, yo, Ryan, I mean, think about this. Everybody was bigging up Devin Haney. Every single body. And I mean everybody. I'm talking about all the professionals, such as Roy Jones, um, uh, Mayweather, Uncle. I mean, I mean, just about everybody. I was like, oh no, he's gonna lose, he's gonna lose, he's meant to, we should stop the fight. We you know, all this stuff, you know, we should do an evaluation. And then Haney's father, Bill Haney, was running his mouth, and and then, you know, then the big moment came. And this is where, and by the way, you can look at my past video. Matter of fact, my last video I I I had about the Devin Haney fight it says. Uh, Haney looked crackish, and I, I did that video at on April 20th, which was uh, yesterday fight, at 2.30 p.m. Go take a look at that, and how I talk about how uh, Ryan could win. Go take a look at that. But with that being said, so I don't want you to think I'm a hypocrite, but with that being said, people like, um you know, all these other YouTube channels, like, oh, Haney's going to win. But here's the problem, and here's what I realized, and this is why I said what I said. And I'm kind of disappointed in Russell, by the way. You know, he's like, oh, he forced, he thought um, Ryan would win. But then he's kind of backtracked a little bit and saying Haney will win. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But here's my point. What, you, what I noticed and the reason why I said why I was going to win, it's like, like I was predicting anything. See, I don't predict nothing. I just look at what's in front of me. And what was in front of me was was one major thing that really got to me, that made me realize something. And, and leave a comment below. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. It's when... Haney slapped Ryan. Man, that was the worst thing that Haney could have did because it gave him a false narrative, a false impression that he's just going to go in there and he's just going to bully Ryan. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. He went in there, he, he, put, he smacked him, he smacked Ryan, and he's like, no, I'm just going to go in, I'm just going to bully him. I'm just going to bully him. I'm going to show him who I am. I'm the champion. And everybody keeps telling him he's the champion. He's the undercard. By the way, if you bet on on Ryan, on Haney, you lost a lot of money. But let me tell you something. You know, people like me, eh, <laughs> we were smarter. Than, we, we outsmarted all of you guys, by the way. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Yeah, people like me, we want money. Yeah. Oh, Draft Kings. Yo, thank you, Draft King. I appreciate you. We want money. Why? Because, you know, we wasn't stupid. We we understood the game. And Ryan got into Haney's face, into his mind. Sorry, into his mind. As soon as he smacked him, that was it. Haney got in, uh Ryan got into uh Haney. Sorry, Ryan got into Haney's mind. It was it. That was it. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. Right then and then. That at that moment. And then when um, by the way, when Ryan dropped Haney three times. Uno Thor's threads three times, man, it was no coming back. The first round, that was it. He was shook. But one thing I will give Haney credit for is that he still he still kept composure. He still felt he could come back. But what did Haney do wrong? Other than getting letting Ryan get in his head, he didn't box the whole night. He should step. He should have kept to his boxing plan. He, he he figured he's gonna since he got shook in round one he figured he's gonna show Ryan that he's the king of all kings. But when you boxing and you know what your strengths are, you stick to your strengths. You don't change the game. It's like oh, I'm gonna come in and hit because this face reality. Haney is not a knockout artist. He's just not. Look at his record. His record says it all. He's not a knockout artist. He's not. Ryan knocks you out. He can knock you out. Let's just keep it real. 1,000%. And exactly what he did. Knocked him down three times. I give I give um Haney encouragement. I give him so I give him credit for getting back up three times, right? But it was crazy. Another thing that happened in round, I believe that's round seven. You know, the referee took away a point from a Ryan. I mean, you know, I don't understand how that happened, but after you know, Haney was doing a lot of hugging. I guess Haney felt a certain way about Ryan, you know, emotionally about Ryan, and he wanted to hug him. And <laughs> I mean, what was that all about? What was he became his boyfriend or something? And he was hugging, doing a lot of hugging, man. He really was. I mean, it was crazy. And then, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when the bell rang, the final cl clock happened, final round happened, round 12, one judge, 
had it a tie. Like, what was you looking at? Like, yes, yeah, true. You know, Haney got some rounds and we can't take that away. But you get knocked down three times. I don't see how anything's a tie. You get knocked down three times and you got him as a tie? He get come on, man. That's, that's impossible. But nevertheless, um, um, Ryan won through a split decision. He won, and he won convincingly. That's it. I got to give credit, but we need to give credit to Derrick James. Derrick James shows that, you know what? He's back. You know, even though he lost Errol, you know, he's back. He showed he's back, and I do want to give credit to him, too. I want to just say, well, just what's just you know, reason why Ryan won was just because of mind games, but it's also the fact that Derrick James, he did his thing, man. Give him credit. Got to give guy credit with credit, too. And for all you out there, that sit there and kept saying, Haney, 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 and all you so-called professional fighters like Roy Jones and, and, you know, all these other YouTube channels, you know, I won. I made money, right, from DraftKings. Did you make money from DraftKings? Did you bet right? No, you didn't. You didn't bet right. Because you know why? You got caught up in the antics. Now, with that being said, I want to say this. See, I'm not going to do that, oh, Ryan won, and now he's the best, he's the face of boxing. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Because at the end of the day, the truth of the matter, just like I didn't do that with Isaac Cruz. Like, when Isaac Cruz um, won his fight, they're like, oh, Isaac Cruz, now he's another Tyson. Stop, stop, stop. Isaac Cruz is not another Tyson. Isaac Cruz don't even move like Tyson. Isaac Cruz don't have footwork like Tyson. Nor do the body motion like Tyson. Uh, Isaac Cruz is mostly high guard, coming straight and swinging. That's basically what he does. So the same thing for Ryan. I'm not going to say, oh, Ryan, now he's the world of all worlds. No, I'm not going to do that. Ryan had a, made quite a few mistakes, a lot of mistakes. And I will say that Ryan's IQ is not as sharp as someone like Tank. Let's just keep that real. I'm just going to keep I'm gonna keep with that narrative. It's just not, right? What Ryan was able to do was, number one thing he did, the first thing he did was he got inside Haney's head. That's a fact. When he slapped Ryan, he got inside his head, right? Second thing was, he made, he put, um, believe it or not, funny to say, he threw Devin Haney off his game plan. And that's something Devin, you know, Devin Haney's supposed to have be so-called disciplined, but he threw him off his game plan. Because think about this. In all those two, three, four rounds, I believe, round two, three, and four, maybe five, he was what? He was jamming. He was winning on some of the rounds. He was winning some of the rounds. But what did Ryan do? He got Haney to fight his fight, and they went a mano a mano. And um, unfortunately, Haney he didn't keep to the game plan. He got knocked out. That was one of the reasons. You know what I'm saying? Now, last thing I want to say is this: um, can Tank? Because everybody keep reading Tank, Tank, Tank. Tank is never going to fight Ryan, and it's not because Tank is scared. We gotta get this out the way. It's not because of that. Tank is comfortable at 135. That's his weight, and that's what he said. Maybe 135, maybe he'll do a catch 136, 37, maybe 140-ish, a little bit under 40. But Tank is not going to go to 143 and 145. And listen to what Ryan said. He's not going, he, he barely, think about this, he barely made, I mean, barely made. He went over, he was at 143. He was 3 pounds, 3.2 pounds over 140. So he is not going to go down and fight Tank at 135 again. He's just not going to do that. Like, that makes no sense for him. And the same thing for Tank. It makes no sense for Tank to go all the way up to 143, 145. Come on. He's not going to do that. He's just not going to do it. It doesn't make no sense. Right? So we need to stop. Oh, you know, you need to go fight Tank. That fight ain't going to happen. No time soon and probably never going to happen. Unless Tank feels comfortable at 143 plus, right? Or Ryan feel comfortable with at one, you know, well, obviously Ryan gonna feel comfortable with that, but Tank ain't gonna come up up to that weight. He literally said that. And let me tell you something: you can't say Tank is ducking someone because he don't want to go one forty three. So if that's the case, then one of Ryan just go to one fifty something or one or one sixty something, become a heavyweight. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't make sense. A fighter gotta feel comfortable at where they at. That's it. You can't like 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 the same thing for Haney. I'm gonna be fair with Haney too. Haney can't never go to one thirty five. He could never go back to 135. There's no way in the world he should even attempt to go 135. Like, he looked at like he was on, he was cracking his, at 140. Imagine going 135. Nah, no, no. This, 
Let's just keep it real. He should never go down there. And Tank shouldn't have to go up there. So with that being said, those fights are just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen unless Tank feels comfortable to go up to that weight. But right now, he don't want to go that weight. So you can't you can't get upset with the guy because he don't want to go up to 143, 145 to fight Ryan. Ryan literally said Tank had to come up to his weight. And that ain't going to happen. Right? Tank ain't going to go up to 143, 145. It's, it's not going to happen. With that being said out the way, lastly, I know I said lastly before, but definitely lastly now, um, it was an interesting fight, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, you know, Haney lost, uh, Bill, Bill, Bill probably gonna feel bad for a very long time, uh, now, you know, with that said, I think that Haney, you know, everybody got the blueprint now, everybody got the, everybody got the schematics, Everybody know what it takes. Everybody got the anatomy now of Haney. Everybody knows the anatomy of Haney now. The anatomy is very simple. Hit him in the jaw. <laughs> I mean, that's it. They they know that Haney can't take a punch. He can't take a punch. And Ryan proved it. He proved it today that if you if Haney get hit with a hard right, a hard left, whatever it is, anything to that jaw, he's going down. He's going to sleep. They're going to put a cover on him, give him his pacifier, and he's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. I mean, that 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 says a lot about Haney's career. And now the the ideal of the, the the three or four kings and Haney's going to be the best of all of them. That's that's been debunked, man. Haney's never going to be considered the best no more. They're going to say, you know what? I could beat him too. Now now we're going to have everybody from Woodward come out. I could beat him. I could beat him. I mean, it's it's bad. Now can Haney? fight someone like Mattis? Nah, no way, no way, no way. Haney's, Haney's gonna be stuck to no young fighter that have power. Like, Haney's, unless he changed his whole entire anatomy, his whole skill set, or, or find a way to neutralize. Because let me tell you something. Even if he goes and have a rematch with Ryan and wins that rematch, that's only because he will win because he will know how to neutralize Ryan's left hook. Right, and he would know not to fall into Ryan's trap again to allowing allowing someone to get allowing Ryan rather to get into his head. But what about the other fighters? Hmm, think about it. What about the other fight, fighters? I want you guys out there who love Haney to think about this. By the way, this is for faces. Subscribe, leave a comment below. Think about this. What about the other fighters that come along? What about those fighters? Those fighters going to know if I hit Haney. In the jaw, he's going down. I just got, I, if I could go past his defense, do better boxing, he's going down. I know that. I know if I could, if I could touch him, he's going down. Think about that. That says a lot about Haney's career. Because one thing we should all know, and we all should be honest about this, right? By the way, when Haney, um, Haney did punch, uh, you know, did, did get a great shot to Ryan, and Ryan didn't fall. <laughs> Let's just get that out the way. He hit him, he hit him straight. He got him real good. He got Ryan real good. And Ryan did stumble back, but he didn't drop. All right, so just put that out there. So Ryan do have a pretty good jaw. But Haney don't. He don't got a good jaw, man. Think about that. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. I'm being 100. I mean, you can't argue that. When you get dropped three times like that, nah. And you're supposed to be the best, right? And everybody's praising you. From all the professional boxers, they praising you, saying you this, you that. And then you get dropped by a so-called YouTuber, right? Because they kept calling Ryan a YouTuber. A YouTuber drop you? Let me tell you something. When you watch Haney walk away, and he's walking to his, his uh, SUV, man, the guy looked like he wanted to cry, man. He, he had the shades on, but under those shades, I'm pretty sure he was setting tear, man. I mean, that's, it was so embarrassing for Ryan. I'm telling you. Haney, Devin Haney, he's embarrassed. And let me tell you something. One thing I will say for Ryan is that as far as New York, New York now, I mean, New York, by the way, right? Keep in mind, the fight was here in New York at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Man, his stock just went up. Ryan's stock just went up. But I say it went up, and it went up. I mean, it went up. I mean, this guy's going, yo, the next fight he have, man, He's going to ask for whatever he wants. He's going to get it, man. Because you, you got to remember, Haney was supposedly considered the best. 
you know, like the top, you know, the top guy, you know, top one and two, right? And now a YouTuber, <laughs> quote, 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 unquote, quote, unquote, YouTuber like Ryan proved that, you know what? Uh, YouTubers can still win. This Four Faces Sports, you know what? We'll talk.